What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for August 1st, 2024. Now prepare for a lot of videos here today, because there are multiple, multiple topics to talk about. First up, we're going to be going over next week's events and kind of doing a light deep, light light dive into it and then later on we'll have the deep dive telling you guys how to get some special rewards there are some special events tied to this and i don't know if that's going to be the norm or if this is just getting a special event if you guys remember last last month or a couple weeks ago you had changes at cords of origin uh those are coming back again and this event was pretty good and it seems like it might be good as well this time it does seem like you're gonna need gems and maybe even starry gems however they are going to give you an influx of contract starry gems this week which looks pretty good hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's talk about next week's events <laughs> Okay, new event. We got a, I think that's Sword Flash skin. The important part is this little card in the background, though. Daily rewards are going to be uh, an enchanted card every single day times seven. I think that's supposed to be a seven. It, I, I don't think it's a one. Although it could be a one and they mean seven total. So I actually don't know on this one. We'll have to figure that out uh, tonight. So interesting enough. Uh, card Clash Illusion. So this is the new event. During the event, you'll get random hero cards and can and you can get um, enchanted cards that give you hero cards. Idlers should te form teams to defeat bosses and get rich rewards. The leaderboard is based on the highest damage dealt to the challenge stages, which unlock, like we said, after the main stage. And then the rewards will be sent to you afterwards on the leaderboards. You can guys see the ranking rewards. You can get some extra gems and stuff like that, which is cool. At a bare minimum, you're getting a thousand gems, which is cool. It looks like for the top 50 are getting a special avatar. Unused enchanted cards will be cleared after this event. So no, you cannot save them for future hard clash of illusion weekly events. Rewards in stages nine contain a luxury cloud island chest, which is that one right there. Interesting. Uh that's really cool that's that's a di completely new chest we've never seen before uh stage 11 includes a bound awakening a resonance crystal heroes can who are bound oh that's what i've been talking about i've been wanting that so long especially if they can give out like better quality ones so you're getting a b minus stone but it's bound so the hero you summon is going to be bound to your account you can't trade it on the auction house i imagine you can retire it still to get crystals back but that's really cool you cannot sell these copies that that's that's i that's one of the things that i sent back as feedback is giving us more awakening stones just make them not tradable just make it so that you have to use them on the account or retire them granted that still gives contract starry gems which then means some starry gems and it, it's fine it's fine that's what i've been wanting which is good how to obtain these cards well it's 100 gems per enchanted card up to 60 so that's 6,000 gems that's a little more pricey than imps adventure and sky labyrinth and all of those but not too much and then also it sounds like you can get up to 60 with starry gems uh, contract starry gems uh one card is uh 10 starry gems so it looks like 600 starry gems if you want to max this out to get a total of 120 is that a good deal i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see how this turns out you'll notice there's that special event currency pretty much that we had a couple weeks ago that's gonna be relevant as well but it looks like you're gonna have probably easy act i imagine getting up to seven is gonna be like the standard so you're getting cores you're getting stellar shards and crystals of transcendence i'm cool with that that sounds pretty good so far there is a special one-time claiming contractual strategy so i believe these are campaigns uh stages if you've gone all the way to the void campaign you're getting one two three four five six so this is the 600 so this is what they're doing in order to reward you to be able to buy all of these in the first week if you've simply gotten to the void campaign you're getting 600 contract starry gems completely for free to use in this event which is cool it does say quest can only be completed one time per account so this is definitely going to be a one time only event we do have a soul awakening gala so yeah we can do the new system and see how it turns out all the rewards see the same might be worth going for might not there is a starlight melody and it does seem to be pretty good because the 1500 point mark down here does include uh the event currency here which is interesting uh you're gonna get two points per enchanted card five points per hero awakening basic points capped out at 1500 so that's the max you can get free to play uh i haven't really broken that down yet it seems like you'll be able to get 100 uh, 240 points from the enchanted cards and then five times like 50 yeah you're only going to come up to like a thousand 
free to play so this this seems like it'll be unobtainable free to play without some like craziness going on there is a moonlight gift as well so keep that in mind and then this is the glorious treasury so same exact model that we had in the previous month where you have the cores and sublimations and all that stuff here same unlock after you spend 10 in the top shops uh, you will unlock shop three. However, it looks like there are the same exact discounts too. Yeah, so uh, the first four redemptions in the top shop are 50% off. Wow, so yeah, it's, it's exactly the same. And then 50% off the first two redemptions in shop three. So this is, again, copy and paste from the other week's event. We can pretty much guess what we're gonna get from this, but we'll have to calculate that a little bit later. So far, so good, because I feel like that was a really good event, and even if you can only get, like, two times this, that's actually still really crazy good value. So, we'll talk about it later. Uh, there is a VIP Moonlight gift event here, too. Uh, so, there are multipliers here. It says, if you obtain 5,000 VIP points, you unlock double privileges, which allows you to get double the Starlight Melody. And then double the clearance rewards for the normal stages in Card of Lunar. So the red one here is double rewards for card class. Well, mm, this is interesting. It's tricky. There's also the card here over here that says uh, the smash feature in Card Clash Evolution. So this is interesting. And then at 200 bucks, you got like this four and then six times multiplier at there. So six times multiplier means you can get a lot of these chests too which include origin artifact chests and treasures so that's really interesting as well uh it does also say this chest right here does include the shark cannon shell not too bad this floor's picnic can be purchased two times 10 of these chests gives you a random amount in every chest so you might hit 7000 or you might hit 1500 just depends on what your rng is and then finally we have the regular value packages so overall this does look pretty solid at first glance uh my guess is free to play should be able to get to here i feel like in this event we should at least get 10 right i feel like 10 is probably possible free to play maybe having to go up to nine with some contract starry gems and honestly i hope i hope 11 is like if you spend all your gems and you spend all your starry gems to buy up all the all the attempts the tickets whatever the cards i hope you can get to here because that means you get 5 10 15 25 which means in reality you could come away with what you get two of these up here and then you get three of these no only two 5, 10. Yeah, you can only get two. So in reality, you can get like three of these and then two of these down here. That could be really, really good. I'm, I'm kind of hyped to see how this turns out. I'm going to do a full breakdown video about the Starlight Melody, uh, the Carter Clash of Illusion, what we seem to think we're going to get rewards wise, and we'll just have to see how this turns out. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Uh, pretty big event we got coming up. I'll try to maybe even post a video tonight with the do's and don'ts as I make some mistakes. I'll probably full clear this event too, just so we can see exactly how it works completely. I'll see you guys next time.